slide rules, paper tape readers, and disc packs the size of washing machines, mainframe computers and green bar paper. Oh my goodness, I've seen it all. My dad was an electrical engineer, and he worked in major aerospace defense companies like Raytheon, Litton, and Sperry Rand. He even had patents. He was a brilliant guy. So he morphed into a career in the very earliest days of the microcomputer industry when I was like six years old. And I remember him taking me to a major electronics trade show right here in New York City. And it was in this huge convention center. It was the biggest thing I had ever seen in my life. And that trip was punctuated by a glorious day right off of exit 14 in Newark, New Jersey at my cousin's. And you know, they had a chair and this chair actually converted into a bed. I mean, if you want to talk about blowing a kid's mind, you know, if that trade show with 10 million computers wasn't enough, that chair turning into a bed sure did it. You know, but I was always fascinated by this stuff, especially when my dad would take me with him to his office. Now, I remember he built one of the very first microcomputers, and that thing used cassette tapes to record the data. And that cassette tape was actually made out of metal. And the tape inside, well, the last time you guys saw a cassette tape, it was what, ABBA? You know, the Doobie Brothers, right? And that was a thin film plastic. This was a metal tape to record the data. And I remember he took me to install that thing at a client's. And this was state of the art, cutting edge. I mean, this was back in the days would take me to some of his clients and they would have big mainframe computers. He would type all kinds of things onto punch cards and take that stack and feed them into a card reader. He'd push some buttons and what would happen? Boom, this giant printer would start crunching and crunching and crunching. And it was all done, there'd be this huge printout with a picture of Snoopy and the Red Baron, just for me, <laughs> showing off the power of computer technology. But we really have come a long way, even though we've been obsessed with shrinking things, shrinking things, making them smaller and smaller and smaller. Today we're at a point where everything is basically invisible. And most of what I deal with takes place in the cloud or comes over the internet. And a lot of my practice is helping companies and law firms overcome the threat of cyber terrorism and specifically ransomware. And one of my proudest accomplishments is my $1 million ransomware guarantee. As far as I know, we're the only company in the world who protects their clients up to $1 million against extortion from hackers and ransomware. We're able to do that because we're backed by Lloyds of London. That's right. The world famous insurance company wrote a custom special product for any client who I work with, protecting them against extortion by ransomware up to $1 million. <laughs> you got to know that I'm good if Lloyds of London is willing to stand behind our insurance. Of course, we'll never have to pay it out because we're just that good. <laughs> but you know, we really have come a long way, all the way from mainframes and magnetic tapes, pictures of Snoopy and the Red Baron printed out on giant green ledger paper, being able to do anything anywhere in the cloud, all the way to million dollar ransomware guarantees. It's been an amazing wild world and it's an amazing ride for me. And I'm very appreciative to have had these experiences over the past 50 years and to have had this opportunity today to share my story with you here in this great chamber of the New York City Bar. All right. All right. Thank you.